good morning, good morning. Well, good afternoon. Well, I don't know what's good morning still. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Talk to me nice. Don't talk to me twice. How y'all doing? Let me get adjusted in my seat. How y'all doing? Double tap on the screen. Good morning. Good afternoon. Grand rising, rich rising, whatever it is that y'all be saying. You know what I'm saying? Whichever one gonna roll that you gonna roll with. How y'all doing? Double tap on my screen though as you come in. Come on in the room. Let's talk about something for a minute. Let's chat. Let's do some inspirational tea real quick. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Double tap on the screen as you come in. Come on in and, and sit a while. Come on in and get comfortable a minute you know what i'm saying come on in and relax just a little bit that's all you gotta do come on in and relax take off your shoes a little bit kick back a little bit let me talk to you it's been a minute since i've been coming on at a at like 11 and 12 o'clock i got a lot of people that's like coach we be missing your lives you come on too early in the morning it's not doing my lunch hour anymore i miss the videos because i can't catch you at that time you coming on way too early in the morning for me you know what i'm saying double tap on the screen like i'm missing all the content i'm having to go back and re-watch it over there on Instagram or on the Patreon. I need you to come back at 11 or 12. Double tap, double tap on the screen as you come in for a real quick. Double tap on the screen. Good morning. Hit that share button real quick. Uh, thank you so much, Angel. I appreciate them gifts, man. Appreciate you so much. Double tap on the screen. Slide on in. Slide on in. We gonna have, we gonna we gonna wrap a little bit. We gonna have us a conversation real real quick. Good morning. Good afternoon. Grand rising, rich uh, rising, whatever it is that you say. Happy new day to the chosen family. Friends said I needed this. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. How y'all doing? What's going on, Trish? How are you? What's up, Trey Way? I see you. Okay, thank you, Miss Carwell. I appreciate the flowers. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Shante Starr, how are you? Okay, Morg, uh, Megan, how you doing? Y'all send me some love. Double tap on that screen. Let's get into it. Let's get into it real quick. Hit that share button real quick. Y'all know if I'm on that this time, y'all know I be already high energy anyway. Look, y'all know I already be up there anyway. Let me tell you something, though. Let me, let me just say this right here before we even get live. If you sensitive, go ahead and find you another speaker. If me talking loud is going to offend you, go find you another speaker. Understand that. Do me a favor. Go ahead and find you somebody else to listen to. If you think that you're going to tell me how to deliver my message, go ahead and find you somebody else to listen to because that ain't going to be happening over here. Take your index finger, press it up against the screen, and and slide up real quick. Go ahead and do that for me. Slide on up real quick. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Take your index finger, push up. That's it. That's all. Because you ain't going to tell me what I'm going to do while I'm over here. Okay? Let me tell you this right here. This is your life that you got to live. Let's just be real. Good morning, Shay. How you doing? This is your life that you got to live. And, and, and that's a fact. It's your responsibility that you do what you need to do in your life. Understand that. That's your that's your responsibility. That's your first responsibility over any and everything. You are responsible for your own life. And the moment that you start giving up that power to other people, that's exactly when folks start playing with you. I want you to understand that it's your life, your responsibility. And the moment, the very moment that you you start giving up that power, making other folk feel like they can tell you how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? T letting people make you feel like, oh yeah, they can control, they can dictate your mood, how you do this and how you do that. I want you to understand that right there in that moment, oh yeah, you done gave them power over your life. And when people start having that type of power over your life where they can dictate your mood, when they can tell you when to be happy, when to be sad, when you should show up a certain type of way, oh, they'll take advantage of it right then and there, for sure. For sure, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you they'll they'll take advantage of it right there, right there where you stand, right there where you stand. I'm okay. They're friends, I cut out my best friend for that. I'm trying to tell you, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll do it every single time. You have to understand how important it is for you to know who you are, what you are, and what you bring to the table, no matter what type of relationship or friendship that you are in with anybody. Because one thing's for sure, two things for certain is this right here. People will find a way to try to manipulate you. They will try to find a way to try to make you feel like you are wrong for picking you. You should never feel anything negative about you making sure that you pick you. That moment that you start feeling guilty because you did what was best for you the moment that you start feeling ashamed because you did what was best for you the moment that you start feeling mad and, and you're I don't, I don't know why i did that oh baby then you already you know exactly why you done it you done what you done because you wanted to please somebody else and in pleasing that other individual you displeased yourself i don't care what type of walk of life that you are on i don't care what it is that you got going on in your life there's nothing or nobody that you should be trying to satisfy more than you need to be satisfying yourself if you're gonna be happy with anybody you need to be happy with you. If you're going to celebrate and do anything for anybody, then that should always start with who? It should always start with you. It's going to, yeah, it's going to always start. It's going to always start with me. Come on now, friend. Shed, uh, yeah. 
Always, it's gonna always, always start with me. Good morning, Shaquan. How you doing? You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's gonna. It's always, it's always gonna start. It's gonna always start with me. That's a fact. Because I'm gonna tell you what, how people operate. I mean, they'll be right there. They'll be smiling and grinning, skinning and grinning the whole entire time. But then the moment that you start saying no, the moment that you start letting it be known, like, listen, I'm not gonna let you play with me. I'm not gonna let you talk to me crazy. I'm not gonna let you walk me like a dog. I'm not gonna let you sit up in my face and play and and do all of those things. And all of a sudden, you'll start to see a brand new side to that individual and that's the reason why it's so important for you to know who you are what you are and what you carry you not knowing who you are is a huge problem in any relationship you not knowing what gifts that you carry all of that understand that that right there people would take it full advantage of that no matter what and anything that you're doing in your life as well you have to understand that you have to take ownership of everything that's connected to you period point blank everything that's connected to you everything that got something to do with you you got to take ownership of that even the mistakes that's a fact friends say wow oh yeah 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 even 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 the mistakes i know yeah double tap on the screen send some send some love for that yeah you got it yeah even 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 the mistakes you got to also take ownership of your mistakes it's imp and it's important to be a person that's able to take ownership of your mistakes as well and some of us we struggle a lot inside of that we don't want to take ownership of the stuff that we didn't done but taking ownership of your mistakes when you didn't did something when you didn't said something when you didn't moved the way that you know you shouldn't have moved when you're the type of person that own up to it and say you know what that's my my bad i apologize for that i shouldn't have handled that that way i should have did something better with that when you do something like that when you own up to it like that the, the level of respect from another person to you is completely different that's a fact when you own when you own your stuff when you own your mistakes the respect a person will have for you it will be top tier it'll take things to a whole nother level in your life because even when they may want to be upset with you when they want to be mad at you they really and truly they can't be mad at you they can't really they can feel how they feel but the respect is always still intact i i, yeah, I understand what you're saying i understand but it's the fact that you owned up to it that takes out all of that yeah, they may have wanted to be mad but it's hard to be mad at somebody that's coming up and taking accountability for whatever it is that they done when the person have already said you know what i apologize i was wrong for that you know what i'm saying and then they got that change of behavior that came right along with that it's hard to be angry with that individual it's hard to have that negative energy towards that individual why because they've already owned up to it and the person that has i'm, I'm gonna tell you this right here so it's two parts to that now a person that already have taken responsibility for whatever it is that they've done as well it's hard to manipulate that individual as well mm -mm. Hold on, coach. Because it works both ways. I'm about to tell you something. This part going to get you right here. Double tap on my screen. Send me some love. This part going to get you right here. When you're the type of person that own your stuff, this is why I said it's a dangerous thing. It's, it's a dangerous thing when you start taking accountability for your life. Because when you're also the type of person that takes ownership over your mistakes and things that you've done when you behaved in a certain type of way, well, number one, the respect level that they have to have for you, it has to go up, right? They're going to have that level of respect for you. That's number one. Because, yeah, you could have lied, but you didn't. You could have pretended like you didn't know what was going on, but you owned up to it. You tr you could have tried to cover it up, but you did not. You owned up to it and said, this is what it was. This is what it wasn't understand that so now at that point at that point you have to also know the respect is intact and the second thing about that is people know that you are not to be played with what do you mean by that coach once i apologize to you about a certain situation once i didn't owned up to a certain situation i'm not going to allow you to hold that situation over my head neither and most people yep some of y'all right now you're miserable right now in life why because you're allowing other people to dangle your mistakes over your head oh okay and say that's right come on tell the truth shame the devil you will have some people right now man they still struggling in life for mistakes that they made over 30 years ago why are you still over there trying to explain to a person a mistake that you made 30 years ago why are you even just still discussing with an individual a mistake that you made 30 years ago that was 30 years ago why in the world is y'all still crying about that why y'all still going back and forth about that why y'all still losing sleep lose missing meals losing energy and behind that if they ain't got over that by now it's time for you to move on with your life if they cannot let that go it's time for you to move on with your life understand that some people refuse to forgive you they refuse to understand you they refuse to know you know what i'm saying to accept the fact that you're not the same person they're committed to you being that individual they're committed to you being that person because as long as you are that person they are able to dictate how you feel the day you gonna have the mood you gonna be in 
That's right. All they're doing in, in that moment is toying with your emotions. All they're doing in that moment is playing with you. You don't even want... Yeah. Come on, be real about it. If I've already apologized to you about an issue a hundred times and that issue was 30 something years ago and you still holding on to it, then that right there alone is letting me know that you are not in a position. They don't, they don't want to talk about that part though. They don't, they don't, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm waiting on the internet to get right. They're okay. Yeah, what you say, Coach? Yeah, at one point or another, you're going to offend somebody. You're going to offend somebody. You're going to piss somebody off. You're going to get up under somebody's skin. One, you, you, you're not perfect. Ain't nobody out here perfect. So you're going to say or you're going to do something that's going to upset an individual. And you're going to know exactly the type of person that you're dealing with. If you're paying attention, if you're paying attention, you're going to know exactly the type of individual that you're dealing with based on when you make a mistake. You don't know what a person is and how they think until you offend them and sometimes type of way shape or form and after you offend them how they how they respond to that is going to tell you all that you need to know about that individual that's a fact that's a fact it's going to tell you yeah i'm telling you right now it's going to tell and the reason why i say that it's going to tell you everything that you need to know about that individual because it's going to tell you whether or not that per person is mature enough to understand that people make mistakes are they mature enough to be able to be in a position to forgive are they mature enough to understand that no matter no matter what Right. That no matter what, they, they, they're going to be able to process that. Don't nobody have no time to be dealing with nobody who is emotionally immature. I, I don't got time to play with you. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm just not the one for it, y'all. I'm just I'm not going to do it. Friends say red note. I'm trying to tell you that's a fact. Y'all, I might have to move from right here because the Internet might be right. Might not be right. But I'm, I'm going to come right back because it just hit 12 o'clock. I, I came on a little bit early. I'm trying to see if we're going to get this Internet to run the way, right way. But like, like for real, what you say, coach, I don't have time to be dealing with people that are emotionally immature. When people are emotionally immature, I have already told y'all this a thousand times. When they're emotionally immature, then guess what? They are a liability in your life. Baby, you would not ruin my life because you can't control your emotions. You would not ruin my life because you struggle with going from one to a hundred real quick. Like, no, 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 no. You better learn how to process your feelings. You better learn how to process what it is that you're thinking about, what you got going on or whatever, because I'm not going to be that individual that's going to be sitting over there constantly having to start over in life because you're stuck in one area you can't let that go or because if this happens then you lose it all the way completely i'm not about to do that so that's right so when you get to a place in your life where you're able to control your own emotions when you're able to understand the difference between right and wrong and that people also make mistakes and that nobody is perfect and that i need to be able you know what i'm saying to have those hard conversations with different folk i need to be able to know that you know sometimes i'm going to be upset sometimes i'm going to get mad sometimes you're going to get up under my skin and still know that you still love me in spite of that then baby if you if you're not capable of comprehending that then you're not capable of being in no relationship because you ain't gonna be in no relationship with nobody i'm talking about no healthy relationship with nobody and think that y'all gonna always get along because that ain't gonna be the case it's gonna be one it's gonna be some days when you might like them you love them but you don't like them it's gonna be sometimes when they didn't got on your nerves so bad like i i love you don't want nothing bad to happen to you i tell you that because yeah i'm telling you right now i love you like that but i don't like you Right now, I don't like you. I, yeah. I Y'all get on my nerve acting like people can't be real, can't be humans. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, we still going to be humans. Shoot. Ain't nobody going to always like you because people say things, do things. You know what I'm saying? Stuff be happening in life. You not your best self this morning. Hello? Can we be real about it? Like, baby, you not your best self this week. You didn't have a little attitude this week. You've been a little bit grumpy this week. This week, you've been showing out a little bit. Understand that. And I'm going to need for you to get that together. I'm going to need you to check that. Whatever you got going on, whatever you bothering you, you need to go get that handled. Because, yeah, you messing up my mojo over here. You messing up my flow. I love you, but I don't like the person that you are right now. And being able to sit down and have an effective conversation with an individual, a healthy conversation with an individual where you're expressing to that person how you feel and what how you feel should not turn into an argument it should not turn into a big old a big old drawn out thing me expressing to you how you offended me should not make you that angry and when you're the type of person that a person cannot tell you how they are how you are making them feel and they on the receiving end is a person that is not mature enough to have adult conversation and i ain't talking to you
Yeah, I'm not put it in my chat, baby. I ain't talking to you. Just put it in the chat. We're not doing that in quarter three. In quarter three, we're not doing that. I'm not having no conversation with no adult children. You can cancel that. I'm not about to do it. Go ahead and get mad. Get upset. Go do all whatever you want to do. But I'm not. I'm not talking to you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not talking to no adult children. When you are an adult in statue, but mentally you still a child, I ain't talking to you. I'm not. I'm, I'm not about to do it. Come on, Shaquan. I'm not doing that. That's a waste of my time, my energy, and my effort i'm not talking to you you are already committed to the way that you think you're already committed to being right you already committed to me being a villain you already committed to me being a bad guy and there's nothing that i can say or nothing that i can do that's going to change your mind that's going to change your stance you believe what you believe and guess what i'm not about to waste my time trying to get you to change your mind on something nope you just showed me who you were you just showed me how you think you just showed me how you feel and i'm gonna mosey right on about my business why because i'm not giving you that type of power or that type of authority over my life where you can control my day and the flow of my day based on how you feel i'm not doing it and i'm not and you got people right right now come on be kind you got people on um, right now go ahead double tap on my screen send me some love y'all because i'm about to say something let me tell y'all this you got people right now they're walking around and they mad at you because you won't be mad with them Excuse me, you over here, you mad at me because I won't be mad with you because you got a mad, you got an attitude because you upset because you going back and forth. You got your own stuff going on. You mad at me because I won't take on your trauma. You mad at me because I won't take on your attitude. You mad at me because I refuse to allow you to upset me. How does that make sense? I'm not even about to do it, sweets. I'm going to tell you that right now. What you say, coach? I ain't about to do it. I'm not about to let you upset my day because your day upset. I'm not going to let you get up under my skin because somebody didn't got up under your skin. I'm not about to let you ruin my mood because somebody else didn't ruin your mood. Whatever it is that you're going through in life, baby, that's on you. I'm, I'm not in the business of picking up nothing that do not belong to me. And that right there, that do not belong to me. Understand that I'm in a season of my life of what? Selffulness. I am focusing on myself. I am focusing on my own. Understand growth and development. I am my own star player, the most valuable person on my team. And I'm not putting nothing or nobody ahead of me. So when it gets to the point where you don't know how to control your emotions, when they get to the point where you don't know how to sit your little self down and self-parent and get yourself together, then guess where you're going to find yourself? You're going to find yourself by yourself. That's exactly what you're going to do. I'm not no, I'm not doing it. I, I'm not babysitting no grown adults. And I don't care how mad nobody get at me about it. Y'all be wanting me to tell people, oh, you should, step, you should tough it out. You should work with them. You should do this and you should do that. No, they should go over there and they should heal themselves. They should go over there and find a way to figure out what it is that they want to do in their life. Because guess what? I can't want it for them more than they want it for themselves if a person don't want to change if they don't see no issue with what it is that they doing in their life it ain't nothing that you can say or that you can do that's going to change that for them they if they don't see a problem with their life if they don't see a problem with their behavior if they don't see a problem with what it is that they're doing then they are not going to change it they're going to continue with that same old toxic behavior they're going to continue doing the same old things over and over and over and over again and guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let them you can put that in the chat right there, baby. What you gonna do, coach? All, all, baby, I'm telling you, all, yeah, all 2024, I'm gonna let them. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let them. That, thank you, Sierra, for the flower, baby. Yeah, double tap on my screen. Send me some love. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let them. For whoever that, yeah. <clears throat> Let me say that. That right there, that's for you, sweets. Whoever whoever it is in the chat right now, you over there trying to, you like, you know, coach, I done did everything in my power to try to help them. I done went outside away on my way so many different times. I done started over in my own life many times because I done gave them everything that I needed. I done went over there and gave it to them. I done sacrificed for them. I done bent over backwards for them. I done cut off all my family, all my friends. I done disconnected myself. I done gave them everything that I had to give to the point where I ain't got nothing else left. Understand that. And now I'm at a place where, you know what, that's, 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 that's all I got. That's all I got. And guess what? That where I dealt sis that was already way too much you'd already then gave way more than what you were supposed to give it's time to back that thing up and I ain't talking about juvenile what you say coach it's time to back that thing up and I ain't talking about juvenile it's time for you to pull back the same way you pulled up to that table it's time for you to push back from that table and when you push back from that stuff of that table you need to tell them give me my stuff that's right ain't no cover dishes or none of that I'm wrapping all my stuff up baby when I walk up out your life I'm walking up out your life with everything I'm not leaving no toothbrush I'm not leaving behind no shoe I'm not leaving around 
no pair of socks or none of that. When I walk up out your life, I'm taking everything that belongs to me. What you say, coach? Give me my stuff. That's it. That's off. Walking smooth up out your life. Right? Watch, watch me. I'm not about to play with people. Not at all. Then gave all that I'm going to give to him. Then did all that I'm going to do for him. I'm in a place in my life right now. Quarter three. I got my boots on the ground. Quarter three. I'm focused on me. Quarter three. I'm not letting nothing or nobody distract me from my elevation, from my growth, from my development, from having joy and living a peaceful life. I'm going to have that. And I'm going to have that with or without you. I'm going to have a smile on my face with or without you. I'm going to be out here thriving in life. And I've been thriving in life. That's going to be with or without you. And there's some folks in your life that you have to let know that right now because again as unhappy as they are in their life they want you to be equally unhappy <clears throat> what'd you say coach mm -mm. yeah you sitting over there talking about there's nothing that i can do to satisfy them i done did everything i could that's why you got to leave them over there where they at baby yeah you got to leave them right on over there where they happy at right over there yeah you like this life then i'm gonna let you live this life that's what you want for your life then that's you you can have it right there and i'm gonna tell you right there the, the craziest thing ever thank you so much Anne. thank you so much karina i appreciate those flowers uh behind blue appreciate you so much double tap on my screen one thing about people is this right here they you you can know thank you so much rika for the heart i appreciate you double tap on my screen y'all one thing about people is this right here you are really see who they are when you're on your way out the door people ain't as slow as you get you you try to tell them that they are they, they, as slow as they pretend to be they not that slow so as soon as you on your way out the door you'll see a shift in them as soon as you go ahead and start standing on business i'm talking about real business where you ain't back and forth no conversation with them you're not responding to no text messages you're not emailing them you're not sosing them you're not reaching out to try to check on them in no type of way shape or form then all of a sudden that person that you thought was so slow that they couldn't understand nothing then all of a sudden you will see that they know exactly what it was that you were saying they understood exactly what it was that you were saying and they was playing crazy the whole entire time as long as you allow people to play with you that's exactly what they're gonna do thank you Shay, for that cash app as long as you let people play with you then that's exactly what you they're gonna do as long as you let them walk you like a dog sis and that's exactly what they're gonna do go get the leash and go ahead and put it around your own neck because that's exactly what you letting them do as long as you sit over there and you tolerate that broken behavior from them that's exactly what they're gonna show up to the table with every single time that broken but that broken behavior if i would get pushed back from the table i'm I'm going to tell you that right now because I'm not. Put the same way I slid up to it, I push back from it. Give me my stuff. Hello, that my cover dish. What I walked in with, I'm walking out with that. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Give me my stuff. If you ain't getting nothing up out of it, then that's too late for you, baby. That's right. I tell my people all the time. Anyway, keep both shoes on and one arm in the jacket. I ain't got time to be playing around with folk. If you don't start setting stand but setting boundaries in your life, if you don't start holding people accountable for the behavior that they have, if you don't start letting people know that you are not to be played with, then you go. You might as well go ahead and be a tonka truck. You might as well be a bar. Barbie doll, you might as well be a whole train track out here because they ain't going to do nothing but run you right over there in circles. As long as you allow it, that's what's going to continue right there in your life. Whatever it is that you allow is what's going to continue. And I'm at a place in my life right now where I tell folk right there, eyeball to eyeball, ten toes to the ground, I am unplaywittable. Hello, somebody, you better play where it's safe and it ain't safe to play with me. Play where it's safe and it ain't safe to play with me because two things for certain is this right here. I know how to get out your face. Out your face and out of your way real quick. I, I'm, I'm telling you that right now. Blink of an eye. I walk smooth off. People that got so comfortable with the disrespect and they didn't got comfortable treating you with the way that they treat you because you keep staying. Mm hmm. What'd you say, coach? People that got so comfortable with that disrespect and treating you the way that they treat you because you keep staying. Yeah, so for you, that the, the, the person that's still over there making excuses for why they're still in that relationship, well, you know, I'm just trying, and I be trying to give people the benefit of a doubt, baby. Them benefit of the doubt went out the first four times. I'm just trying and trying and trying, and, uh, and every time that you give, you say you're going to try, I want you to understand the same thing I tell my people all the time. That's just like you establishing a boundary, allowing a person to cross over that boundary, and you establish a new boundary. So what are you doing at that moment? To creating a pattern. Hello. Then what are you doing at that moment? Creating a pattern. Put it in the chat. What are they doing, coach? Creating a pattern you're creating a pattern you're teaching that person that you can disrespect me and i'll draw another line you can go do, go do the most and i'll draw another line anytime that somebody disrespect you and still have access to you anytime somebody can go outside of their way and make a fool out of you and you still stay connected to that individual you're creating a pattern you can't get mad at them. You creating a pattern. You creating a pattern. When y'all y'all think I'm so harsh. Oh, you so harsh. You so rude. You just be like telling people to go ahead and leave. You be telling people to cut people off. You be telling people to walk away from people. You don't even give them an uh, opportunity to try to fix their life. You don't even do this and you don't do, do that, baby. This right here, what does this look like? Do this like Russian roulette. Baby, do it. Do it. Do this like checkers. Do this like jingle. 
Do this like Uno. Do this like Monopoly. My life is not your game. Understand that this ain't no pick foe over here. Understand you ain't about to hokey pokey all up and through my life. Do you think that this right this right here is supposed to be your learning curve? We come on, girl. I'm sick of it. I don't know why y'all y'all don't want to ask me to come back live at eleven or twelve, but I'm just I'm just telling you I'm sick of it. I'm sick I'm I'm sick of it, baby. Look at here, baby, y'all y'all y'all. My life ain't your game. My life ain't your game. I'm sick of it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not your. My life ain't your game. This ain't over here where you gonna be over here practicing up in my life. You know what I'm saying? Oh well, you know that they gotta do this and do that. And, uh, baby, go do that over there. Come back over here when you got your adult business intact. When you know how to have healthy conversations. When you know how to give and receive love. When you're not struggling with no trust issues. When you done laid your demons to rest. When you no longer battling your traumatic experiences. When you done already broke away from the things that's dysfunctional in your own life. Come back over here when you done got it together. Do not be over here up in my life knowing you got other stuff in your life that you got to deal with. And then coming over here thinking that it's my responsibility to help you to fix. Baby, the devil is a lie. This ain't where you come and learn it at. Girl, like this a ropes course over here. Like this ain't no training day. Over here, like, yeah, you come over here. You know, and the thing that get me is you want to come over here and run my life like it's a practice round. You know what I'm saying? You want to come over here in my life and, and use my life like it's a practice round and then go over there and love somebody else top tier. Come over here and learn all the mistakes with me. You know what I'm saying? Destroy me. Destroy all my love. Destroy all my confidence. Destroy all my self-esteem. Rob me of everything that's good inside of me. Come over here and walk me like a dog. You know what I'm saying? Drag me across cold. You know what I'm saying? Have me over over here looking like I ain't got nothing look come on cook let's be real you that came over here and did so much to me that I can't even see straight and then you go over there and try to love somebody wait a minute oh no I'm not for me not for me not for me mm -mm. you want to get somebody else to do that bruh <laughs> yeah sis yeah 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 right plan wrong person baby right plan but the wrong person you might have had the right plan you just had the wrong person baby my boundaries is up understand that I, yeah i have the boundaries and they already established and i enforce them on a regular basis you could be talking to me today and will not see me tomorrow poof casper right up out your face up out your life baby not hearing from me is the response right there understand my lick back is me taking everything that is me away from you understand that i'm trying to tell you i will get out your face and up out your way you think for one second i'm trying to tell you be like you know i just feel like i keep building them i be building them up and i be teaching them this i be teaching them that and then they go over there and they start loving somebody in all the ways that i taught them they start doing for somebody all the things that i taught them they be doing this and doing that but that ain't nobody's fault but your own you the one that want you the one want to be brianna the builder brenda the builder sasha the builder you the one want to build a babe build a boo build a bun bun i'm not building nobody for nobody i'm gonna tell you that right now i'm at your face call me whatever you want baby i'm up at your face yeah you want to find you somebody else to play with because it ain't gonna be it, it ain't gonna be me and the fact of the matter is what i came on today today yeah when i came on to say thank you shay shay what i came on to tell yeah come on cash dior i just came to let you know baby yeah my life is not your game this is not a toy over here understand that when i see that you are not emotionally available when i see that you cannot control your emotions when i see that you are a liability in my life that you're gonna cost me more than you're gonna you're gonna cost more than you add to my life then guess what it's gonna to be snip snip it's going to be aboard that mission it's going to be me getting up out your face and when i say out your face i'm talking about expeditiously i'm talking about with no explanation at all why because folks already know exactly how they playing with you people already know how they walking you like a dog they already know how they're taking advantage of you these people are smarter than what you be giving them credit for because as soon as you on your way out the door they know how to tighten up right then and there the next relationship that they get in i guess what they over there doing all the things that you taught them so that lets me know right there that you understood exactly what it was that i was telling you but you was choosing not to love me correctly you was choosing not to respect me you was choosing not to do the thing so now i'm choosing yeah get on up out your face respect my choices like i had to respect yours yeah 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 respect my mm -hmm. let's talk about that respect my choices like i did not have to respect the fact that you couldn't love me correctly now respect my absence okay yeah don't don't get me started babe because y'all know i'm 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 team put it on two players i'm team put it on because everybody want to play until you put that game on two players as soon as you put it on two players then everybody get in their little feelings now you want to get your ball and you want to go home you don't even want to play full court no more now you on your little scooter and you paddling that little scooter faster than you didn't ever pad uh 
identity in your little life, baby. Yeah, now your chest is over there hurting. Yeah, yeah. Now you now your chest hurt all of a sudden, baby. I will I will I will make you put your, yeah, you'll pick that little ball up. Now you don't want to play the game no more. Now you yeah, 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 yeah. See, when you thought that I was when you thought I was weak minded, when you thought I was gullible, when you thought I was a pushover, when you thought all of that, then you thought you, you know what I'm saying, you thought you had it like that. You was one way. When you found out that, yeah, I might, I might have a sweet voice, I might have a sweet heart, I might be the loving person, but I'm still not to be played with. And now you learning that. You like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, baby, don't play with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just as good and kind and easygoing as I am. Baby, I live a dual life. Yeah, yeah, you gonna get, yeah, yeah I want you to know I live a dual life. Mm -mm. That man is still there. She laying dormant. <laughs> Don't play with her, though. She laying, she laying dormant. Understand that, yeah, I am not to be played with. I am not to be played with. Uh, there you go, Crystal Love. Unplaywittable. Yeah, she be laying dormant. Don't, don't, don't summon her. Don't, don't, don't summon her. Because, yeah, that's the, the last thing that you wanted me to do is show you the person that I really can be. Understand that? When I'm loving you, I'm loving you by choice. When I'm in your life, I'm in your life by choice. When I'm working on a relationship, a friendship, a family ship, a job ship with you, I'm doing that by choice. Understand that Every single thing that I do in my life that's based on my own decision making. I'm choosing to be in any environment, in any relationship that I'm in. It's never about I need to be there. It's never that I need to be, you know, connected to you. I know who I am, whether I'm with you or not. I know what I'm capable of, whether I'm with you or not. You are a bonus in my life. Don't ever get so comfortable in the relationship with me that you think that I won't walk away from you. Don't ever get so comfortable in a relationship with me that you think I won't snip, snip. Don't ever get get so comfortable in a relationship with me that you think that I won't abort this here mission because that's exactly what I will do. If you don't respect me, if you don't honor me, if you don't value me, if you don't hear me or see me in this relationship, I can show you exactly what my absence feel like. I will introduce you to what? To that goodbye so fast. It'll make your head spin. Yeah, that's a fact. Gift of goodbye. I will show you. Yeah, I will introduce you to that gift of goodbye. So doggone fast, baby. It'll make your head spin. And that's the reason why these people, they've been on me all weekend, y'all. These people been on me all weekend. They've been in my comment section. They've been in my inbox. They, oh, codependency this. You be telling people to move on and do. You be telling people to cut ties and do. You be telling people to walk away from people and do. That's why I had to stop walk. I had to stop watching your videos because as much as I love your content, you be like, you know, I be feeling bad. You be like, cut this person off, cut that person off. And I said, sweetheart, then if you stop watching my content because I told you to cut off somebody that wasn't good for you, who the problem is, me or you? Hmm. <laughs> Ain't that what y'all say? Hmm. Because when your heart get broke, I'm going to say, what? Ain't that your friend? When they, when they get to walking you like a dog and you want to book a session with me, ain't that your friend? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Ain't, 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 ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? You, you, yeah, you, you. Wait a minute, I thought my content was too harsh for you. But somehow or another, every time you're going through something in life, you find your way back over here. Every time the bottom falls out, you find your way back over here. All of a sudden, you back on the books for sessions, but ain't that your friend? Ain't that your, ain't, ain't that your friend? That, yeah, there, yeah, ain't that your friend? The problem is the fact that you want somebody to co-sign your foolishness. You want somebody to sit over there and be okay with watching you sit back and destroy yourself. You want somebody to be okay with just seeing you sitting and suffering in life. And that's not the person that I am. I'm going to let you know. I don't care what the relationship is. Baby, if it's not good for you, it's not good for you. If it's not beneficial to your growth and your development, then I'm going to let you know. If I feel like you could do way more, do way better, that's my job as a life coach to give you some type of direction in your life i'm not sitting over here to be no enabler i'm not not over here to be your friend i'm not over here to stroke your ego i'm not over here to make it nice and pretty for you if it ain't good it ain't good yeah and i'm gonna tell them to leave you that's exactly right i'm going yeah and yeah well yeah mm, yeah you might want to go find you somebody else baby because you ain't gonna stay broken around me i don't let yeah you ain't about to stay broken by uh, uh, around me i believe in helping people grow helping people heal i mean you know it's kind of a contradiction if you get on here and you say you're a life coach and you're a motivational speaker inspirational speaker your job is to speak positivity your job is to encourage people to love themselves to, to motivate them to get up and to do something with themselves to create a better version of themselves and if you are stopping them from being able to create a better version of themselves if you are the person that's stopping them preventing their breakthrough their growth and their development then 
light bulb need to go off in your head. Okay, ding dong. Then she's actually doing her job. She's one of the few motivational speakers and life coaches that's actually doing her job. Her job is to tell you that, hey, you have to look at yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to prioritize yourself. You got to take care of yourself and anything that's not servicing you, anything that's preventing you from operating in joy, operating in peace, operating with good mental, good physical, good spiritual health, then guess what? It's her job to say you have to detach yourself from that light bulb. God, talk. God, oh boy, I'm gonna have to start going back in live at 11 and 12 because, yeah, um, y'all did what? Because what? What in the world would make you, yeah, come on, let's, let's be, let's be real about it. Let's, let's be real. Why are you yourself? You think it's a problem with me telling people to cut ties with anything that's not good for them, to walk away from anything that's not good with them? Let me ask you a question. What kind of friend? Are you to tell a person to stay in a relationship where they being manipulated? A person where they're not being re a, a person in a relationship, a friendship, a family ship where they're not being respected, where they're not being valued, where they don't feel safe, where they don't feel honored. I think that right there is the bigger problem. That's the bigger problem is that sometimes we get so caught up in life. Thank you so much for the cash app. She said, I ain't co-signing nobody's foolishness. Thank you for the cash app. I think the problem is that we've gotten so cool, so calm, and so friendly with people that we tiptoe around what is real. I think that we've gotten so cool, so calm, and collected with people that we be more concerned about their feelings, not hurting their feelings. But if you want to be something, if you're ever going to be anything in this life, be real. Be real with the people that you love. Be real, be open, be honest, be transparent with the people that you say that you care about. Love me enough to tell me the truth, the honest to God truth. Respect me enough to be open, to be honest. Let me know exactly what is real and what's not. If you think that I'm messing up as a friend, be honest enough with me as a friend to hold me accountable. To say, hey, look, friend, if I was you, I'll look deeper into that. Hey, you friend, if I was you, I, 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 I'll vet that a little bit deeper. I'll go a little bit deeper into that before I just put all my eggs in that basket and I know sometimes you don't want to just pour it all out there at one time but you can say things without saying things in, uh, directly to an individual I just can't I, yeah, don't, don't mind me, though. Everybody, I, I get it. I'm just saying that I can't. I just, I don't know how to, y'all. Like, when it come down to sugar coating, it just never been my strong suit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, it just never, it's never, it's never been my strong suit. It's always been something that I, oh, yeah, I've never been, I've never been the one that diluted. I've never been the one that sugar coated. I'm just not good at it. I'm very direct. And, and yeah, I just, I've never been the one. But I'm just saying, but they call it a professional term, coof. I never really had a whole bunch of coof. <laughs> Y'all ain't know I know that word. I know that word. I know that word. I ain't never I ain't never had a bunch of coof. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had a bunch of that. I've always said, you know, say what need to be said because I'm I'm a firm believer in saying what needs to be said when it need to be said. So that when you're open and honest, then you give people the the divine right of choice right and they can choose whether or not they want to deal with you or not based on your truth based on your honesty and i think that if you are walking around and you're not being honest you're not being open you're not being transparent then what you're doing is you're presenting to somebody something that you're not which is the same thing as what lying you may want to be this particular person but you're not that person yet you may want to be somebody that is this this and this but you're not that person yet and it's okay with being in the healing stage it's okay to say that you know what i mean i'm a, it's, it's, it's flickering i know y'all uh -oh, i ain't gonna start messing with 
as soon as I start messing with it, it's gonna drop. Yeah, it's so it's okay to be in the healing stages. It's okay for you to be in a place in your life where you're actually working on yourself. It's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. But just be open about that. Be honest about that. Be transparent about that. So you give people the opportunity to make a decision as to whether or not they want to deal with you or not. Like I said, it's not honesty, being open, being honest, being transparent with people. You will see that the respect that they will have for you is through the roof. When you are an honest person, when you are a trustworthy person, a person may not even like what it is that you said, but they respect the fact that you said it. They respect the fact that they didn't have to, you know what I'm saying, pull it out of you, that they didn't have to go outside of their way and find something out and find something. Because I don't want y'all to miss what I'm about to say. So, okay, there you go. I want, I was reading something the other day, right? And when I was reading it, this is this is what I'm telling y'all when I say that it, it ain't good to be making up stuff and just all of that extra stuff. When I was reading something the other day, it was talking about, you know, Jesus told him, he said, let your conversations be yes or no. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what Jesus said. I ain't making this up. These ain't my words. You want to get mad to somebody? Go get mad to Jesus. Jesus said that let your conversations be yes or no. That's it. Yes or no. When you're answering something, answer it. Yes or no. You ain't got to do all that dramatic stuff. He said, matter of fact, don't be putting it on your soul. Don't be putting it on me. Don't be putting it on my daddy. Don't be putting on no, nobody in your family. When you answering questions, when somebody's asking you something, be very direct in what it is that you're saying. Let your answers be yes or no. That's exactly what he said. He said, let it be yes or no. You ain't got to put it on soul. You ain't got to put it on God. You ain't got to put it on Jesus. You ain't got to put it on your grandmama or your grandparents he said yes or no let it be yes or no and leave it all that over overdoing it thank you so much for the glasses all that overdoing it's not necessary all that overdoing you're doing it's not necessary friends say whoa and you know why I'm, I'm gonna go out on the limb and say this right here i believe why is because when you give a person too much conversation when you tennis a conversation too much back and forth you know what happens then you give a lot of room for manipulation you give a lot of room for people to twist and turn things and try to make things be what they're not when you very clear about what your answer is when you very direct about what your answer is you leave no room for confusion you leave no room for manipulation you you need no room for people to take something the wrong way. You need no room for any of that. He said, let your answers be yes or no. That's it. That's all. A lot of y'all find yourself in these difficult type of conversations because y'all be like, oh, I just need to sit down and talk to him one more time. I just need to do this one more time. No, you don't. And when you talk, when you know that you're talking to a manipulator, what you want to talk to them one more time for? When you know that you're talking to somebody, understand, clear and direct, that's it, Crystal. When you know you're talking to somebody that's already committed to not understanding you, what y'all going to talk about? Understand that. When you know already that as soon as you get over there and start talking about them, y'all going to have a conversation about the matter for one second and the next day y'all going to be on something else. What you doing that for? Every time you say you need another conversation, that's just your way of saying you ain't ready to let it go. You ain't ready to walk away. You ain't ready to cut ties. Every time you agree to that one more conversation, that one more sit down, that one more meet up, you are toying with yourself. That's what you're doing. And I know that it hurt. I know that I'm on your toes. I know you feel a certain type of way like, dang, coach, you ain't have to come in like that. But the truth of the matter is you're creating a pattern. The truth of the matter is you're teaching people that they can disrespect you and still have the same access to you, that they can disrespect you. And guess what? You're not going to walk away from them, that they can walk you like a complete dog. And guess what? You will still be right there, right there when it's all said and done and we're not there yeah, you have to cut ties with that you have to let that go because whatever it is that you allow is going what's going to be what's going to continue right there in your life over and over and over if you want to you can break the cycle if you want to you can get off of that emotional roller coaster if you want to you can walk right away from that right now today because the same thing i told them this morning and this morning live you ain't responsible for your pain we know that some people hurt you when you ain't deserve it. Some things happen to you when you ain't deserve it. But you are responsible for your healing. You're responsible for how long you sit and you soak and you waddle in self-pity. You are responsible for how long you allow that thing to bother you. For how long you allow that thing to keep you down bad. Over laying up in your bed, laying and soaking in the tub. Having that, con that conversation over and over and over. You're responsible for that you down bad over laying up in your bed laying and soaking in the tub having that con that conversation over and over and over you're responsible for that whether your friends then told you or not you're responsible for that and every day that you wake up and you stay in that situation that's a decision that you're making 
You down right now because you decided that that's, oh, I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to continue to do this. You have a divine right of choice. And just speaking to your heart, I want to say this right here to you as well. You are not stuck. You are not stuck. I'm waiting on it. Y'all know it be acting up. It got me on red. And I'm going to say this again because it was on red when I said it. You are not stuck. You are not stuck in your life right now. Everything that you're going through right now in life, you have a decision to make. You are not stuck. The enemy wants you to believe that you're stuck. The enemy wants you to think that you ain't got nowhere to go. The enemy wants you to think that it's over for you. The enemy wants you to think that it's going to be hard for you to do. The enemy wants you to think that, oh, yeah, well, it's going to be this and it's going to be that. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's the enemy's job to create the worst case scenarios in your mind. It's the enemy's job to create every bad, every bad thought in your mind to create that fear so that you won't step out so that you won't grow so that you will be fearful that's his job understanding that that's his job to make you fearful of standing out stepping out and trying something different walking away from that relationship is going to be hard because you love him but it's going to be doable it's going to be uncomfortable but it's going to be doable and it's going to be necessary do not allow the enemy to trick you into staying in something or staying over there and you ain't happy staying over there and you not yeah no we ain't gonna do none of that if you enjoyed the rant this morning, if you, yeah, if you enjoyed it, nah, it ain't the rant, the inspirational tea, because this was tea time, baby. If you enjoyed the tea, just do me a favor, double tap on that screen. If you got what you needed, like, coach, you know what? I needed that. I needed that reminder. I needed somebody to get in my face. I needed somebody to tell me what the real was, and I appreciate you. That's right. Yeah, sometimes you got to hurt their feelings so you can correct their vision a little bit. Do me a favor, double tap on that screen. Send me some love. Send me some love. Send me some love. Thank you, Crystal Love, for the flowers. I appreciate you. Shantae said, yeah, that was definitely tea. I was going to say rant, but you're right. It, it was definitely the tea, baby. That was tea. That was that was tea right there. That was tea because sometimes you got to get on there and you got to tell your people, like, stop letting them folks play with you. Stop letting them folks play up in your face. Stop letting them people make you forget who you are. You know what I'm saying? And what you bring to the table. Uh-uh, no, ma'am. You over there second-guessing yourself again? Stop that. You over there operating out of fear again? Stop that. You over there diluting the person that you are so that they make it easy for them to swallow? Stop that. You over there acting like you not that girl, acting like you not that guy? Stop that. Hello? Yeah, no, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. Get yourself back together. You slipping again. Are you tripping again? You doing the... Yeah, come on now. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Shay, for the bear. Appreciate you. You slipping again. You tripping again. Get back in alignment real quick. No, ma'am. The, the, the street with the tea, baby. Appreciate you, Kira. Thank you for the cash out. I love you guys, man. Every single day that you wake up, you put 10 toes to the ground. I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self-love and you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else. It is your favorite online motivational speaker, your favorite online life coach. It's your girl, Street Poet. Thank y'all got so much for tuning in for that inspirational tea. That's right. I see y'all love coming. Appreciate you, Anissa. Thank you, Shay Shay. I see y'all. Double tap on that screen. Double tap on that screen. We're going to get up to 150. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Double tap on that screen. Thank you, Grace. Is it Miss uh, Digital? I appreciate you. Lata54. Appreciate that, Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Double tap on that screen if you got what you needed. Thank you, Queen. I appreciate you. Is it NC Lex? Okay, NC Lex. NC Lex. I'm sliding in. Miss Tia Sharice. I appreciate you. My name is Sharice, too. Good morning. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Barbara. Okay, there we go. We at 150. Appreciate y'all so much, man. I love you guys. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.